Should I stand over there? Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> we are not responsible for what that might do. <laughs> Is that the lightning for that storm we promised? Um, I'm not sure. Not <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I think you've chosen wisely by just putting the county in the name because Wilds High School has never been called anything else since it was combined from Hayhira High School and Wilds County High School, which is a, was at the south end of the county. Yet people still refer to it as Wilds County High School. So you've hit it up. Um, uh, I'm involved with a tiny little volunteer organization called Walls Watershed Coalition, which stands for Willacoochee, Wipacoochee, Lapahod, Little River Systems, names that you all recognize, but believe me, people from Atlanta go, what? Okay, and uh, one thing we've done recently is uh, there's an umbrella group in Georgia called Georgia River Network, which one thing they do is they award what they call Turner Re Grant, it comes from the Turner Re Foundation foundation they grant it to watershed organizations. We got a tiny little grant, so small I don't want to mention it after seeing your budget. It's, it's very tiny, but it's been quite useful for, you know, it's a, kind of a sign of recognition. You're trying to do something that would be useful. And what we're particularly doing is in the Lapaha River Trail, River Trail, Water Trail, Blue Way, whatever you want to call it, which is essentially you put out uh, brochures, maps, guidebooks, websites, and maybe some signs at the beginning and the end and try to market it to encourage people to go on the rivers. The Alapaha River is actually a very unusual river. Um, there's like grades for rivers according to how wild and scenic they are. Uh, the Altamaha, for example, gets a C, probably because of Ray of Year, which sees a gleam of stuff behind it. The Alapaha gets an A because there's very little development right next to it. It has rapids, it has lots of native vegetation, and so forth. Okay, so um, we're hoping to tie this into uh, the park that the county is funding on the Alapaha River at US 84. You may have seen the boat ramp there on the small ballot, and we thank the county for doing that yet again. And this coming Sunday, August 24th at 1.30 per p.m., um, you all look like boaters to me. Bring your canoe, bring your kayak, 1.30 p.m. at Hotchkiss Road. Basically, you take US 84 East, cross the river, Hotchkiss Road, turn left, keep going to cut the boat ramp. And we'll float down to US 84 where the park's going to be. So you can have a look at the center of what will be the river trail. Uh, this is a quality of life kind of thing. People who want to work for some of the kinds of jobs you're trying to attract, they will find this kind of thing attractive. I won't predict that it will bring in hundreds of jobs, but it's something they will find attractive. Uh, Parks and Rec has been thinking about this general idea for some time, mostly on the Wipacuchi, but we're starting on the Alapaha, partly because of the park, and partly because of that A Wild and Scenic. Okay, another thing we're doing, speaking of the Wipacuchi, is Sunday, September 21st. You may wonder why Sunday, because so many people work Saturday. Sunday seems to work best for these things. This one is going to be long uh, because we're going to get on the Wipacuchi, float down to the Samadhi, and take off just past I 10. And the purpose of this is to go look at where that uh, pipeline would cross both the Wipacuchi and the Samadhi rivers that yard-wide natural gas pipeline you may have heard of. So we're going to start at 10 a.m. It will probably take about five hours, but uh, we're collecting quite an interesting crew of people, and of course, you're all invited. And uh, anyone who doesn't have a boat, we'll see if we can rustle one up for you. Okay, thank you very much. Anyone else like to speak to the board? Assuming?